stay warm. I guess so, eh? You know, and, and I'm so proud of people who commit to events like this. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's cloudy or drizzly exactly. or you know, snowing. You've got a mission. You've got something to do when you do it. That's what Edmontonians are all about. Absolutely. No one had to keep warm on one of our coolest days yeah. so far this season. We've really had an interesting day, to be honest with you. Our high temperature was 5 degrees. We hit that at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. The low temperature last night here in the city stayed at plus 2. But just south of the city, temperatures dropped to the freezing mark. In fact, in the area of Red Deer, it started snowing at about 2 o'clock this morning and ended around 7 o'clock this morning before it transitioned back into uh, drizzle, fog, rain. Foggy drive on the highway today as well. Here's what's happening across the country. British Columbia is the warm spot. Lovely temperatures, plenty of sunshine. It's even warm in parts of northern Alberta. I'll get to that in a moment. Unsettled and cool through the prairies. That, of course, is following us. As we move into the eastern uh, provinces, what we're finding are seasonal temperatures, scattered showers and thunderstorms, thanks to the couple of low-pressure systems we see there. Off of low pressure, again, not helping our weather, forcing everything into the foothills. High pressure starting to establish itself, but it's this low, just on the edge of your screen, that I want to talk about. It's going to affect us this week. Warm front leading it will eventually start to cross our region. We'll lose sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. The sunshine will arrive tomorrow afternoon. It'll stay with us on Tuesday. We'll lose that sunshine as temperatures start to rise, and then very quickly, the cool front trailing this low will cross the region. That's going to to change our weather one more time. Few scattered showers still across the province this evening. Keep an eye if you're south of Edmonton. Some of these raindrops could turn into flurries once again. Temperatures around the region really below normal for this time of year. Here in the city, we'll stay at about plus one, 60% chance of drizzle, possibly even a little bit of wet snow mixed with it. Tomorrow morning, if you're driving along QE2 south of the city, watch out for some fog patches and the potential for a few flurries in the air. Temperatures still very chilly. 9 degrees tomorrow afternoon. That's if we get into the sunshine. And that, well, will be the end of it. Temperatures across the province tomorrow still below normal for this time of year. Now look at Tuesday. That's where we get into the warm sector. Temperatures actually go back up to double digits. Tuesday afternoon into the evening, that cold front crosses. That's what drops the temperatures. Now there's some rain expected in the area of Fort McMurray. If some of that moisture of an ash starts to come down towards us, yep. once that front crosses and the wind switch and the cold wind blows, we could see it change over to some wet snow. I guess I'm we'll take the moisture. Say. You know. We need the moisture, yeah. so I won't complain about it. Okay, thank you so much, Susie. You're welcome.